What looks easy peasy lemon squeezy, but is actually difficult difficult lemon difficult. Whistling with your fingers. I did it once like six years ago, and haven't been able to replicate it since. This is me off. Dancing. I wouldn't say it looks easy, but when I see people do it, they are so good at it and it flows so well it looks easy. But damn, I just cannot get my body to do anything more than a bop and maybe some stupid arm moves. I'm 25 and dance like a 50 year old at a reunion. Dancers are so delicate and make it look so easy. It's honestly amazing. It's just hilarious when I try to do literally anything and fail horribly. All smoke and mirrors, friends. As a dance teacher, I can tell you confidently that it feels absolutely silly until you just start to sell it. 90% confidence, 10% squats, having fun is step hash one, fake it till you make it. Drawing something from memory, like a bird or something, in mind, yep that's a bird, on paper, that's, a bird? Draws squiggly lines far away in the horizon, birds. Digging. Any time it's shown in movies or TV it looks easy f, but the second you have to grab a shovel and break dirt, bleh. Here just let me dig up this 6 foot deep grave with a shovel. XLIT. Welp. All done. A basic physical exam at the doctor. Looks like a simple look at the throat listen to the chest yup they have a heart alright. When in actuality doctors spend thousands of hours practicing it, so that when you come in with a murmur or funny looking kid syndrome they can recognize it immediately. And yes, there are entire class sections on how to respectfully ask your patient to turn their head and cough as you push on their balls. They are looking for hernias. And yes, there are entire class sections on how to respectfully ask your patient to turn their head and cough as you push on their balls. I swear this isn't what it looks like. He's helping me study for a test. As the wife of a doctor, I can attest that I have spent a fair amount of time being the dummy slash test patient of various physical exams. Did he push on your balls? Those capture things on Google. I can honestly never read them, and the website always thinks I'm a robot. Maybe you are a robot. R slash total in Otrobots. Natural Macuke. More work than regular Macuke. Street names. Everyone thinks it's great fun, and likes to offer suggestions but every tree, lake, and other natural feature has at least a dozen variations which you can't repeat for emergency service reasons. That and you get cities which want a street name change any time the road changes direction regardless of a logical breakpoint like an intersection. I legit thought you meant street names like Lil T or Fingers. Yeah you gotta watch out for Fingers. He does unspeakable things. Flying remote controlled helicopters. It looks so effortless when watching seasoned flyers, but in reality it's like balancing a marble on an upturned bowl. I'll never forget the time I went out and bought a decently priced helicopter. Five minutes into setting it up, I didn't even get it three feet off the floor before I smashed it into a chair destroying the rotor blades. I tried maybe like five to six more times before I gave up and now it hangs in my garage as a monument to my failure. Semicolon. Making lemonade. Sure squeezing one lemon is easy peasy, but do you know how much juice that makes? Not a lot. Fill in the rest with sugar. It's the American way. Or just use country time lemonade. There's nothing close to a lemon in it. Easy as pie. Pie is the most difficult thing I've ever done slash made. Writing a 250 word open ended reflection, where you're expected to be creative. All I want as a grad student is some goddamn structure, and also a rubric. As you progress through the levels of degrees, it is supposed to become more abstract. High school, you're basically just reciting the book. Highly structured, just follow directions. Bachelor's degree, reciting parts of the book, and generating some original thoughts within a guideline. Master's degree, capable of independent thought, only referencing knowledge from the book, and applying that knowledge in unstructured ways. PhD, you wrote the book. Folding fitted sheets. I've watched instructional videos that make it look so easy, but I always just end up with a crumpled up mess, and that's how it gets put away. The real trick is to only own one sheet, so as soon as it comes out of the wash you immediately put it back on the bed and never need to even attempt folding it. I have a modified version of this, where I change the sheets, let the dirty ones sit on my floor for a week, where my dog will sleep, then wash them, repeat. I'll bet your dog adores you for that. Op throws funky B.O. 
Sheets on the floor. Dog. Oh boy fresh sheets. It's free real estate. I use a wheelchair and people usually don't believe me when I say that getting around can be difficult. Because many of them think that pushing a wheelchair is easy. They literally tell me this. The thing is, when you use a wheelchair all day, and it is basically your only means of transportation, it looks more natural. This becomes a problem when I point out accessibility problems. They often don't believe me because they see how I can navigate and assume that it's easy just because backslash I backslash make it look easy. And your arms gotta be ripped by now. My arms went from flat to fat in the first two months I had to use my wheelchair. On the downside, my legs did the opposite. Doctors hate him for this one weird trick. Get absolutely shredded following this crash course. Hanging out with friends during that I'm not at school, but I'm still dependent on my family period, where you have spare time, but have no way of getting anywhere. Finding the person I always saw myself falling in love with. Are you the person that person is going to fall in love with? Damn my soul hurts. Finding a career you'll want to go to every day that won't crush your soul. Remember when you were young and teachers told you that you could be whatever you wanted to be. Yeah, not so realistic when you want to pay bills and maybe have a little beer money too. I didn't go to college and struggle with the thought of not being able to have a literal career move without a degree. But then I see my friends absolutely floundering with their student loan payments and think maybe I don't have it so bad after all. Actually doing things. In theory it's simple, just do the thing. In reality I procrastinate, until I hate myself. Self-discipline is the single hardest skill, to master in this world, that makes it so easy to just, not. The four laundry baskets full of clean clothes sitting in my bedroom would agree with you. Maintaining friendships from high school slash college after you graduate. People get so busy with work, and starting their own families that friendships get, put on the back burner. You stop talking to someone for a few months, then it suddenly hits you, that you're no longer friends with the person. Reach back out though, everyone understands and I've rekindled, and kept in touch intermittently with so many amazing people. Yes we are not best friends who talk every day, but if shit went down I could give them a call, and vice versa, and when we do get together it's a great time. Beekeeping. You see videos of these old dudes in their veils, and beekeeping suits, and it makes it seem so relaxing and easy. Turns out that bees aren't so good at finding enough food on their own, and they can get sick really easy, and in the winter they can mold. Have you ever seen moldy bees? Sometimes they are not even dead. It's still worth it though. Have you ever seen moldy bees? Sometimes they are not even dead. Wah. Zombies. This comment made this entire thread worth it. A+. Plus. A. I thought it was a B plus. Getting away with murder. Actually, if you go to a large city and kill someone you have no connection to, the odds are you will get away scot-free. For example the homicide arrest rate in Baltimore and Chicago are about 20%, meaning you have an 80% chance of not getting arrested. There are probably dozens of serial killers who have passed away, and we had no idea they were even doing their thing. It seems like the smarter ones get caught because they want to... They want their kill count out there, so many seem to state really high numbers when they are caught, that it makes you wonder if they actually did so, or if they just want a place in books. Seems as though our opinion of what serial killers are like, is only from those who were caught. I see Ed Kemper has a Reddit account. Losing weight, changing habits is hard. People tend to mistake simple things for being easy. Being an adult, they never had to do homework, could stay up late, eat what they wanted, and had the money. I wish I was a naive kid again. Makes me wonder if parents should be a little more honest about their life. But I guess kids will either see it as one-upping, or get stressed so I dunno. I was very honest with my kids. One turned out very responsible, the other has tons of anxiety. Mixed results for sure. Losing my virginity. That's me in the corner, that's me in the flashlight. Losing my omission. I thought that I heard you coming. I thought that I heard you moan. I think I thought I saw you cry. Fuck you duvet covers. Fuck you hard. I get in the duvet like a mole and grab and pull until everything is layered pancake perfect then I crawl out. 
being in your 20s. As a clueless kid I thought by now I'd have everything figured out, and my life on track. I'm still clueless, but now I also have depression. In my 30s, still clueless. Socializing with people, I have severe social anxiety, and even small interactions with strangers, and even some people I've known for a while are really hard for me. I don't hate people, or dislike being around them, but I'm just awful at keeping conversations going or initiating them. Outgoing people make it look very easy. For me it is not. Golf. I feel like most people think they can just grip it and rip it, and don't take into account how hard it is to have a consistently good swing with solid contact. I missed the first word as I was skimming, and thought you were talking about wanking. Committing suicide. Looks easy, but when the time comes, it can be very hard to commit to it. Then you spiral further down the rabbit hole thinking you're so shit you can't even kill yourself. True story. Killing Enderman for Ender Pearls. Just back up against a wall before you hit it. That way when it teleports it can't go behind you. Okay fuckity by now.